Hi, I'd like to thank Clip Studio Paint for sponsoring this video and giving me the chance to use their product. I've been hearing a lot of interesting things about the program and I'm very excited to test it out. Clip Studio Paint is one of the most popular drawing software used by a lot of artists. It's my first time using CSP, so in this video, I'll be talking about my experience in CSP. Let's go! Starting CSP, I was unfamiliar with the environment and I was slightly intimidated by the new symbols. So what I did first is to arrange my workspace and remove some of the features that I don't think I've previously used before. If you're also new and you're worried that you might be deleting a feature that you can take back, you can always reset the workspace by clicking on the tab, windows, workspace, and reset the default. And then you can always start from scratch. When you're done customizing, create the canvas by clicking on File and New. A pop-up window will open up wherein you can choose where you can start from, depending on what you're going to do in CSP, be it an illustration, a comic, or an animation. I'll be using illustration. After that, I selected the size of my canvas, which I set to A4, my personal preference. I usually use a higher size canvas just in case I want to use the art as art prints or posters in the future. As for the DPI, I usually use 350 but I could also use 300 or higher. After this, let's try downloading custom brushes. On another tab included with the CSP software, find on the left portion of the screen the one that says Clip Studio Assets. Or you can simply click the link on the description below. From there, you can find both free and paid downloadable assets, ranging from custom brushes, 3D models, and other materials. For example, in the event that I'm having trouble drawing shoes, I might key in the term and get these results. I'll download the shoelace asset, return the paint, and find a tab for materials. And when I find the shoelace brush, I'll select the pen tool and drag the brush as a pen subtool. And there we go, I have my custom brush. Or I can simply click add a subtool. It will take me back to the asset store. And this time I'll search for a zipper brush, repeating the same process that I did from earlier. But this time I don't have to drop it on the subtool because it's already there. Using the Materials tab, you can also get 3D models that you can customize for posing. So, the thing that I like about CSP is that it's super easy to use. I was previously overwhelmed because there's a lot of tools that I haven't seen before in Fire Alpaca. But I just realized that the symbols are self-explanatory. If you give it some time, it will all come naturally. Another thing that I liked is the vast selection of default brushes. I'm the type of person who only use the default ones when drawing and I really don't like making custom brushes because I'm too lazy to find the right one or to download and get it from the internet. So imagine my surprise when I saw that there's more than one type of pen under the pen tab. I find this is a nice feature because I don't have to get out of the software because I already have a lot of brushes in the software itself. If you're just like me, good for us, huh? But if there's one thing that kinda kinda gave a pull on me, there's no preset effect for chromatic aberration, unlike in Fire Alpaca. 
and I used that a lot on my art. So what I did to create one is I duplicated the artwork three times, clicked the edit tab, applied tonal correction and then level correction, selected the red option and pulled the output all the way to the black. I repeated the process to the other two duplicated images but as blue and then green. And set these three in difference mode. It wasn't hard to do though, so I think it's a thing that I can let go of. As for the final touches, I like the fact that I am easily able to access assets and materials such as textures. At the tab materials, I drag the texture that I selected and dropped it on my canvas. It speeds up the process of applying textures because I don't have to make my trip to the internet or Google and manually find textures because CSP already has some of them. Overall, I think CSP is a pretty nice drawing software. It offers convenience, a vast resource library, and an intuitive drawing experience. There's a considerable learning curve when starting out, but once you get the hang of the environment, you'll find it to be really, really worth it. So yeah, thank you for watching!